Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of accessible computing, a new world of accessibility. Friends, we know the VLOOKUP, we know the edge lookup, but there is a limitation. In VLOOKUP, you can search the data on the right of your data. In edge lookup, you can search the data only below. You don't have the option to search data from anywhere. This is why Microsoft Excel has introduced another lookup formula which is called XLOOKUP and today we are going to learn how you can use this formula as a visually impaired users. I hope this video is going to be very interesting and you will like this video. So do not forget to press the like button and share this video as much as possible. So if you first time visit this channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon choose all notification to get latest updates. We have a telegram community you can join there you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn also. The links are given in the video description. So without further delay let's get started. I have already taken a new workbook where I have created a mux. Name A1. See these are my uh, data. Name A1. Name. Raju A2. Below name there's some names. Raju, Onil, Anik, Akash. Name A1. And uh, after that some subjects are there. English, B1, math, C, computer, geography, history, total, G1. So five subjects are there and in G1 we write the total. Now I'm just creating a new sheet. I'm taking a new sheet. I'm just inserting a new sheet by pressing Shift F11. Shift F11. Sheet 2. Empty sheet. And this Sheet 2, I'm just creating two columns. Blank. Blank. A1. First is name. Name. Enter. Name. A. Oh, not and Blank. B1. Second in B1, I'm just creating the column for total. T O T A L. Enter. Blank. Total. B1. Name. Blank. A2. Now, uh, I can create uh, uh, both things. I can create whatever I want. Okay. So, to do the XLOOKUP, first we need to understand that which we want to get the result. For example, here total name, name and total. Blank B2. total. So, if you use VLOOKUP formula, you can easily uh, retrieve the data from the master sheet. Right? But today, I am going to show you how to do the same using XLOOKUP formula and how the flexibility is available in this formula. For this, I am just uh, F2, edit, land, yes, I'm just pressing F2 to go to the edit box. Here now I am typing the formula equals, equals XLOOKUP X -L -O -O -K -U -P. then left parent. left parent. Now here I just give the cell reference. Okay, This is called lookup value. So here my lookup value is A2. A apps, A2. Because based on A2's data, I uh, Excel should retrieve from the master sheet. Then comma. comma. Now here I am just typing the sheet name. S A E E T. This should be the master One. sheet. Then exclaim. Exclaim. Now, uh, instead of giving the only column range or row range, I just need to give the lookup array instead of giving the table array. Well, we are doing the we look up each lookup we are just giving the lookup array lookup value then lookup array so here our lookup array is a1 a1 colon colon a6 a because there are five students name and one column headers num, num lock off. so num lock six. a6 then comma comma again we need to type the sheet name s a e e t 1 exclaim then we need to give the uh, lookup array after lookup array the return array okay so from which rows or from which area it will search you can give any area but we need the total marks right so that's why we are selecting see in a in the row uh, row number uh, sorry uh, column number a we have name right then b c d e f there are five subjects then g we have data i mean total so that's why 
We are just giving A, A one, one colon, colon G, gamma, G gamma. sorry G, G one colon, colon G six. Okay, because this this will be the corresponding data. Exclaim. 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 G one colon, G one colon G, gamma. G six. Six. Because see here also five students data and one uh, column header. Now then we need to press comma. comma. Here we don't need to give the row index or column index. Okay, just we need give we need to give the true value or absolute value. But we want the true value, so we give dash dash zero zero. Then right parent right parent. Okay, then I'm pressing enter. Let's see. Enter blank b three zero b two contains formula. See here it says like uh, zero. Let's see. Name. I'm just typing again. A two enter blank a rat total three hundred eighty eight. See B2 now total three hundred eighty eight. Name rat two a two. So if I just change the name. R R blank a n i l enter blank a nil a total four hundred forty. B two four hundred forty. Okay, so now name. I'm just doing blank a total. Another Zero, thing, B2. I'm just copying this formula. Copy name. Paste Pasted it. here and F2. some. I'm Home. just doing some editing. Home. Listen Home. carefully. Name. Equals number f a two contain total. Number F B blank B two name F two home X equals X L O O K U P left parent number R E F okay. exclaim comma S H so S comma exclaim F E R number here I'm just giving typing A, A sorry A B two B two okay two B because B two will two be our B left parent. B two lookup value comma, here okay S then eight e e t one exclaim sheet one exclaim number, r number okay I'm just Select deleting blank. all the formula I'm just typing again equals equals x, x l o o k u p left parent I'm just uh, typing again then a, uh, a b two comma then sheet one S eight e e t one exclaim then what wa what was our uh, lookup array Lookup array is same lookup array, right? So same lookup array. A A one one colon, colon A, A six six comma comma. Then we need to give the return array. So what is our return array? Again, I'm typing sheet. S A E E T one exclaim. Return array is G one one colon G G six six comma zero zero. Right parent. Then I'm pressing enter. Enter. Land. A Let's zero. See. A two. Total. Land. Okay. B2. So here I'm just num num lock on. Typing three hundred and eighty eight. Three eight eight. Enter. Land. Three hundred. Name. Zero. A two. Contains formula. Total. Three hundred eighty eight. B two. Name. Zero. F two. Home. Here is zero. X equals Let's X. See. L O O K U P. Left parent. B two. Comma. S H E E T one. Exclaim. One. X A. Exclaim. A one. Colon. A six, A six. Okay, so I just made a small mistake. Why? Because I need to give the, uh, give the I I I mean I have to enter the lookup array in the place of return array. So A I'm just changing. A G G colon one. A one A G G one O G six comma S H E E T one exclamation G one G A A A one colon G six G A abs. Now I hope you A three Raju A two contains formula total three hundred eighty eight name Raju A two Raju okay. So I have made a small mistake. So that's why the formula was not working in the first time. So by using XLOOKUP formula, you can easily retrieve the result at anywhere where you want. You can from where you want you can search the data from where you want you can retrieve the data so this is the flexibility of xlookup feature in ms excel i hope you learned you can understand still if you have any queries you can if you have doubts so feel free to ask me into the comment section i'll be happy to help you this is for the day friends see you soon in the next video till then stay safe stay connected bye bye Thank <music> you.